And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to send data from Google Forms to Discord. You can do this by using regular text, or you can also send it as an embed. Um, so just to jump right into it, you're going to go over to github.com and then it will be my GitHub. I will leave the link down in the description below. Um, and then you're going to head over to Google Forms. I already have this new one, so I'm just going to name it Google Form to Discord, and then how to send data to Discord from Google Forms. Um, and then I'll just put something random, yes, no. So that's my easy setup real quick. Um, after you have that, you're going to click on these Three little dots right here come down to script editor and on my github just go ahead and click on code and you're just going to go ahead and copy this um, i do want to point out that this is not my code i got it from someone a while ago and i do not remember who they were and um but yeah but this is a really useful thing that I found pretty useful, so I'm just going to throw it out there. But again, it is not my code. Uh, I'm just trying to help people out. Um, so on here, it asks for the webhook. So if you go to your Discord, whatever channel that you want it to go to, uh, just click on Edit Channel, Integrations, Create Webhook. You can name it whatever. I'm just going to leave it Caption Hook, and then copy the webhook link, and then go back into it and just paste the webhook right there. Um, and then down here it asks for a title, I'll just say new title. You can put an image here if you would like to, but you don't have to. Um, I'm just going to leave it blank. The description will just be nothing but a title. Um, here, if you, uh, you can put a color as well. Um, for the mention, if you want to be notified whenever someone submits it, um, then you can. Um, and you can do it for the multiple users as well. Just right click, copy ID, go back and then paste it here. And if you want to add someone else, then all you got to do is just basically repeat what the first thing is and then just add the new ID right there. I'm going to type here, um, it is text or embed. Um, and obviously the default, as you see, is embed. Um, and again, you can read all about what's like everything how it works up here um well that's pretty much all that you need to do but i highly do suggest that you go through and look through everything because there is a lot of extra things that you can do and if you do know how to code properly then you can actually set it up pretty well um but now that you're done with that just press Control s to save it now that it's saved you're going to come over here to triggers click on add trigger um, this is going to be just be plain text in bed. I'm just going to leave it plain. I'm going to notify me immediately and then make sure this is head from form and then on form submit. It's going to go ahead and press save. Let it load. It might take a little bit. Um, if that happens, just press save again. Select your Google account. Click on advanced and then just go to untitled unsafe. It is it is safe. I've used it multiple times. Um, nothing bad has ever happened. So now that that is set up, go back to your form. Just click on preview. And just click on option one. Click submit. And if I go back, here it is, option one. Nothing but a title. And then if I decided to go back, submit a different response, and I click on no. Submit, go back, and then here it is. So, I mean, that's pretty simple. There really isn't much to it. Um, if you do have any questions, though, if you're missing something or you want to know how to add something more into it, um, just comment down below, and I will try to get to you when I can. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.